Okay, Steve here. And uh, because you didn't see the part of the video, because I stopped it where the cat was, just messing with stuff behind my back, which is what cats will do when they want your attention and you're giving it to yourself in the forms of a mirror, a reverse mirror. But I haven't done, um, Devin, haven't done much in the way of videos. The um, energetics have been a lot to work with from my perspective. And if they haven't been a lot to work with for you, I support you in continuing to have that experience. But if the energetics seem like they're a lot to work with, then join the crowd. We're, we're a pretty good sized crowd. We're finding the energetics, um, you know, something to work with. And may whatever it is that I do and say help you to work with the energetics that you find yourself working with. So today is a day of the red serpent. And... Um, in the Mayan calendar, it says, uh, guided by space. And I feel like there's been a theme, especially in the attuned book readings, which I've just stopped doing for a little bit, because there's just so much to it. And I feel like I really need to digest it before I can read the next part. So I'm just digesting it and just doing the work and doing the exercises and the practices. And when I feel like I can speak about that information, then I will. But right now, I don't feel like I can. And we got the other cat. So I got rid of one cat, and now I have another cat that I'd be liking to uh, have to leave me alone. <laughs> but they, <laughs> cats and humans, if they like the human, then they want the human like, you're not doing anything. I'm like, actually, I am doing something, or at least I'm pretending to do something. So let's just talk about the red serpent a little bit. The day of a red, the red serpent, and um, the term red serpent has to do with um, the kin. There are twenty kin, so every day, every twenty days is a red serpent day. So twenty days ago was a red serpent day, and now red serpent day again. And uh, the red serpent has to do with the east. Um, which initiates, and it has to do with the crown chakra. And it's about survival, life force, and instinct. And uh, there's a, a quote from uh, John Lee, who I think was a musician, possibly jazz, and I don't, I, yeah, I've never gotten jazz. I've listened to it a bit, but I've never gotten it too much. But I've learned that the body listens to rhythms the mind can't even hear. So this is something John Lee said. So the red serpent represents our primal nature, our instinctual body, wisdom, our sensuality, creativity, and passion. Serpent reminds us to center in our earthly vehicles, honoring them as incredible sensual mechanisms recognizing that our bodies offer us infinite opportunity for experience. They are our living temples, our one and only home for this lifetime. As our partners in life, our bodily vessels invite us to nourish ourselves, to ground, to breathe, to stretch, to move, to dance, to feel, to discover, to physically express, and above all, to sense, to be creatures, not intellects. Following the body, it has a language all its own. Intimately connected to our soul, our serpent bodies, and its senses are gateways to that which lies beyond the body. So it's through the body, there's this stopping of the video, but it's through the body that's a gateway to what's beyond the body. Offering 
themselves as a conduit to access this greater wholeness as a tool and a guide our bodies are our allies in self intimacy renewal and empowerment life force is our vitality every moment the decisions we make impact our store of life force it's ours to cultivate and care for one of the most powerful sources of life force we all possess is our sexual energy literally our sacred creative energy known as our kundalini our inner serpent fire ignites our divine potential residing within the serpent reminds us to merge our primal life force energy with our higher visionary eagle mind to become balanced and fully alive as a feathered serpent this allows us to bring holistic insights into matters of survival and creation assuring we see what's near and far and so it's a red serpent but it's a red overtone serpent and the overtone energy is tone 5 so today is a red overtone serpent day and so tone 5 is about empowering commanding and radiance so the principle of the center governed by the number 5 allows the order of 4 to move as the seasons move around a common solar center tone 5 is the principle of center which animates the world of form understanding the 13 tone wave spell as a sequence the radiance of tone 5 amplifies the form structure by tone structured by tone 4 measured and defined form is secure and ready to be radiantly shared with the empowered expression of tone 5 all radiance emanates from a center point every individual has a personal center a place of strength and stillness in the core of one's being a point of autonomy and authenticity an inner sphere of fearless egoless self-love this center connects us to the earth center and to the core of the milky way and to the spiritual heart of creation living from a communion with this center establishes a holistic connection between our inner and outer world bringing an overtone of empowerment to all that we do. Tone 5 provokes us to connect with our truth and radiate that knowing. When we are in command of our own knowing, that radiance expands into the environment and empowers others to discover and shine their truths. Tone 5's, 5 embodies the power of nonlinear radial time, Overtone directs, focus on the heart of the matter. Navigate as though you are shooting a film out of sequence. We affect all aspects of our experience by centering in the ever present now. Center the mind in stillness, center the heart in love, center the body in breath, and you will find yourself centered in the cosmos i think these are good words i like the reading for today i'm going to listen to it again later um and now let's go